Well, hello, you are hiking with Jenny on the Appalachian Trail. This is day 33, and I just left a little stealth site near some power lines. This morning, starting a little bit earlier, <laughs> uh, it's like, it's 10 o'clock now, and I'm just setting out. Feeling good, loved my little stealth site I had last night. I think that's what I need to do more often is just stealth camp because I feel like I, I push myself really hard to get to shelters and I don't really need to do that. It's nice to see people but often I get to camp and I'm just so exhausted and I have too much to do that I, I don't really get to interact with people that much anyway. So I think going forward I might just try, if I see like a good stealth site, I might just take it and kind of just go at the mileage that my body wants to go. And I had really, really good service in that spot and so good that I was able to not only talk to Brian on the phone, but do that while playing a game online together at the same time. It was so fun. We played a couple games together and I won't, we must have been on the phone for a couple hours, honestly just, you know, hanging out, talking and stuff. It's just so weird. It's just like, you know, you're out in the woods and meanwhile, like doing the things that you would, you know, pretty much at home. So it's almost like the best of both worlds in a way. Well, sometimes I don't feel like doing stuff like that and I just want to enjoy being outside, but then there's days when I'm like, you know, I want some connection to the outside world and Yesterday was that day for me, and I really enjoyed that, and um, it's put me in good spirits today. So uh, today looks like another beautiful day. In fact, it looks like it's going to be even warmer, and we're going to have some views today. We're going to actually, like right now, we're about to climb up to Beauty Spot, which is supposed to be a wide open bald, and with how clear the sky is today, I think we're going to be able to see a lot. So. That's really cool. It is a little windy, so I probably won't, you know, film too much up there because of the wind noise, but the wind wasn't really bad where I was at last night, and uh, it was a good choice not putting the tarp up and just having the uh, wind sock. I went to sleep with the sounds of the trains whistling, and oh, it was just perfect. So there's a shelter in 17 miles, and I'm probably not gonna do that. I'm probably gonna camp somewhere before that, honestly. And I might, I'm probably just going to do what I did last night and just kind of hike either until my feet start hurting or it's five o'clock, whichever comes first. And uh, then set up camp at that time because uh, that's, that's just what I'm comfortable with, I think. And uh, I think that'll add to my enjoyment of the trip is just kind of taking care of like what my body needs and what my mind needs to prepare myself for the night and the rest and the next day. So I'm gonna be still trying to stay on track to get to Rowan Mountain on Sunday. Because of the food situation I have exactly you know I think I have like three days of food left now so that'll put me on track for that but for now beautiful weather ahead Excited, excited for the day. I think I'm on the top of Beauty Spot. I'm climbing up Yunaka Mountain and I just thought this was really pretty through the trees with the moss growing all around. Still very windy today though so not really recording much but it's definitely very beautiful. Stop for a 15 minute lunch break and I'm gonna push forward. I've gone eight miles so far today but I'm hoping to do at least four more 
it is 2.30 right now, so I figure that will put me around 5 o'clock. And uh, there's a spot near a spring that may have a good campsite. So I'm going to check that out and see how it looks. And uh, if it doesn't look good, I can move on, but I'm sure I'll find something good. I've been noticing a little bit of weakness in my ankles recently. I've been uh, rolling them a little bit more. Um, so I really need to get back into a routine of doing my stretches and my ankle exercises. I can't let that lapse. So that's something I'm going to need to focus on tonight is taking care of my ankles. Well, I just took a bad tumble. Uh, my ankle gave out and uh, fell on my knee. I don't think I'm injured badly, so I'll be able to go on, but that was just kind of scary. but I was hoping that this spot would be out of, more out of the wind, but it's actually kind of in a tunnel because the wind is coming up from there. So I think I'm gonna have to move on. It's unfortunate. I had high hopes for this one, but there should be other campsites ahead. Um, there's actually one in 2.2. So, if I don't see anything before then, I'll head up there. This looks like a good a place as any. I'm on top of Iron Mountain, and there's an unofficial campsite here with a fire pit. And some good trees for hanging. So, I think I can make this work. It doesn't seem very windy up here either. I'm having my favorite good to go meal, mushroom risotto. And I have added some freeze dried chicken to it and some Parmesan cheese. I found these don't really have enough calories in them on their own um so i like to add things and like boost up the protein and the fat and everything 